In this video, we will look at the switch node of the geometry node. A switch node outputs one of its two inputs depending on the condition. Only inputs passed through the node are counted, with the default cube selected. Create a new geometry nodes tree. Add a join geometry node. A cone object. And a cylinder object. Add a switch node to the default cube object. By default, the switch node is added in the off state, so there is no change. If switch is checked, the true value is called. Currently there is nothing connected to the true value, so when you turn on the switch, the cube disappears. We will connect switch nodes to cone and cylinder respectively. And it releases the ones connected to the existing false socket and connects them to the true socket. In this way, only when each switch is turned on, the meshes connected to that switch node can be checked. Add an integer node. After adding a compare node, change to equal mode, and specify the numbers to be called by each corresponding switch with one node. You can load meshes connected to the switch node of the corresponding number. This is the most basic way to use a switch node. In addition to geometry, switch node mode has various modes such as float, vector, material, etc. So it can be used in a much wider range. That's it for this video. Thank you.